fragrances. Scents. Baccarat is staying on my shelf. I'm never getting rid of it. Done. A very tongue tying word. Fragrances. Fragrances? Because it's just delicious. It's whatever. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Yasmin. You are watching my YouTube, according to Yasmin, and I am super excited to be talking about this subject, luxury fragrances. Love it. Gotta have it. Um, I have been into luxury fragrances for a while now. Ever since I bought that first Tom Ford in New York at the Tom Ford counter, and I've been in love with luxury fragrances ever since. I believe my first luxury fragrance was um well i know it was tom ford cafe rose fell in love with it fell in love with it um i haven't worn it in a while but um since then i have learned through social media and through just um going to different counters i've learned so much about luxury fragrances and i'm so excited to talk about them today um first let's start with the type of fragrances i like I don't like anything too sweet. I do love florals. I love a good floral. Um, I love bergamot. I love like patchouli. I love oud. So sometimes I like to smell like a grown man. Nothing is wrong with that. I feel like, let's see. My favorite men's fragrance that I have bought for myself is One Million. It's a, it comes in like a gold bar. It looks like a gold bar. And it smells so good. It's like fresh and woody and a little sweet. I like sweet for a man, but my favorite men's fragrance. Um, so today I'm going to talk about like my staples, the ones that I keep in rotation, the ones I always have, um, and some newer ones that I bought. Um, I also do believe that you should wear certain fragrances during a certain time of the year. I believe that there are fragrances. How, why can I say that? Fra fragrances? It's a very tongue tying word. Fragrances. Fragrances? Fragrances. Scents? Whatever. So there are fragrances that you should wear in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in the winter. Spring, summer goes hand in hand. Fall, winter goes hand in hand. You can wear them for both. I believe that more fresh and floral fragrances should be worn in the spring and then more dark and warm and spicy woody fragrances should be worn in the winter that's just me it's not law it's just a preference um but it just feels right it sounds right it smells right so that's what i'm going with for the fall winter fragrances summer spring summer um let's start with my first that i keep in rotation byredo which is a fairly new fragrance. I feel like people are still learning about Byredo. I've had this in my collection for a few years now. Um, I have three full-size fragrances of Byredo and I'll share them with you, the ones that I keep in rotation. The first one is Bao Da Freak. It is fresh. Definitely one of my spring fragrances that I keep in rotation. Um, I absolutely love it. I do wear it for the spring, summer. I have used a little over half um, because it's just so good. It's really good. If you're looking for something fresh, then wear this. And the way Byredo creates their fragrances, you really have to like read it. There is a purpose and intention behind every fragrance. And Bao Da Freak definitely has something to do with Africa. I cannot give you a full description. You have to read it, but it smells really good <laughs> really good that's all i can say so this one is definitely a a spring summer fragrance it is very fresh and warm at the same time i will say it's a fresh warm fragrance at the same time when you hear about my radio i think most people do have um bal da freak but velvet haze is one that i love i bought it as a fall winter fragrance it's very warm and the good thing about by fredo is that Byredo is that they are um, unisex. Most of them are unisex. So I can definitely see Velvet Haze more for a man than a woman. But again, remember I said sometimes I like to smell like a grown man. So Velvet Haze is one that is like warm. It makes you feel like cozy, like at home. Um, so I definitely love that one. 
And then my third Byredo fragrance is Casablanca Lily. This one, okay, so these Byredos run about $285, if I'm not mistaken. This one costs a little bit more because it's more concentrated. It's more oils than this one. This one is very floral. It's floral, it's warm. And for some reason, I can wear this one both spring, summer, fall, winter. It It's warm and more like a fall, winter, but I will wear it both because it's a floral fragrance. Um, so this one I know is, when I read the description, it was like, it captures the, the oils from the flowers at a specific time of the night or the day or something like that. And I thought it was very interesting. So Casablanca Lily by Rado. These are fragrances that I will always keep in my rotation because they are really good. They're very um, oil based. So they last all day long. A little on the pricey side. I remember I said like 285 ish. I think this one was at least 300 lower 300s. Um, but Byredo is one to keep in mind. Not many but standalone Byredo stores. Um, I, Atlanta just opened one up. I know New York has one for sure. And then I'm not sure where else. But you can also find them at counters. Neiman Marcus has a Byredo counter. Um, I'm not sure about Saks or any of the other stores. But definitely Neiman Marcus. Now, let's move along to... The fragrance that had all the girlies in the chokehold. Yes, Baccarat. Now, I did buy Baccarat. I bought the intense one because, well, I bought the um, original one first, which is not in a red bottle, it's in a, a clear bottle. And it did not last all day. To me, it did not last all day. So I went back and I exchanged it and I bought the intense one. And the intense one definitely lasts all day. It's a, it's a very good fragrance. I know this fragrance had everybody in the choke hole. It smells so good. It still smells good. It's still on my rotation. I'm going to keep it. I don't care how many people are wearing it. It smells delicious. I love Baccarat. Now, we know this is pricey. It is very pricey. So sometimes this is not one that you would wear every day, but I really don't. I, I got away from treating things like, oh, this is my good fragrance. I can't wear this on th this day. I have to save it for special occasions. I've gotten away from that because I feel like if I work hard and I want to wear whatever I want to wear, I don't have to wait for a special occasion to wear certain fragrances or certain things. Wear it when you feel like wearing it. Wearing it when you are feeling yourself, when you are having a good day or a good outfit, just wear the fragrance. Now, because this smells so good, I did a thing and I went ahead and I bought the Baccarat body oil. Did I need this? Absolutely not. But did I buy it? I did. So this Baccarat body oil, I will say it's a dry oil. So it's not super oily. You just put it on, rub it in, and it absorbs into your skin. It leaves a little shimmer. I'm going to like shake it up. You can see it's very shimmery, um, but not too shimmery. Like you won't look super glittery. So what I have done is I have worn both together so you can wear the oil and the perfume together and you will smell great all day long. But if you don't want to use all your fragrance, you can buy the body oil and then layer it with something else. Layering fragrances are amazing because you create your own signature scent um, and it just does wonders. I feel like it does wonders. So the oil is, is good. Um, do I feel like you absolutely need it? No, but if you want Baccarat and don't want to buy the fragrance and just the oil, then go for it because the oil is half the price of the fragrance. A lot for an oil, but still cheaper than the fragrance. So, and it's just a twist top and it like pours into your hand. So I enjoy, I like the fact that I bought it. And I bought it on sale because every now and then Saks will have like a 15% off beauty sale or something like that. So I think I bought mine Black Friday when Saks was having like a beauty sale. And that's when I got it. So this Baccarat body oil, get it. I would just say get it because if you don't have the fragrance and you really want it, at least you have the oil that you could like layer with something else to make yourself smell like really good. And also, I guess they have like Baccarat alternate fragrances. So if you 
want to smell like that. I haven't smelled the alternate fragrances, but then get the body oil and use the alternate fragrance, I guess. But And I love a good body oil. Again, this is a dry oil, so it's not going to leave you greasy. Um, I love it. Layer it with the fragrance, create your own fragrance, do whatever. But Baccarat is staying on my shelf. I'm never getting rid of it because it's just delicious. It's a delicious fragrance and it turns heads. It's a conversation starter. It has been a conversation starter for me. Um, so Baccarat staying on the shelf. Okay, so my next fragrance, I might even love it more than Baccarat. I stumbled across it, never heard of this brand before stumbled across it in Atlanta. I was in Neiman Marcus and I walked past this counter and I was like, what is that smell? This guy was like, oh, this is Tiziana Terenzi. And he gave me this fragrance. It's called Kirky Kirky, I believe. K-I-R-K-E, a little asterisk above the E. Y'all, when I tell you this fragrance smells so good, I it's it's amazing. It's amazing. So I'm a, I'm actually gonna look up on the iPad what's in this fragrance because every time I smell it, I'm like, there is no way that anybody can make a fragrance that smells this good. Um, every time I wear it, I was in a store and this lady, I didn't realize it, but I was in a store and this lady was like, and her daughter was like, can you please tell me what you have on? Because I don't want you to think we're weird, but we have been following you around the store because you were leaving a trail and it smells so good. A little freaked out, but I can see why y'all, because this fragrance smells so good. And um, it's by Tiziana Terenzi. I don't really know that background of what that is, but let me, it's $2.95. $2.95 for this. I also got it on sale. I didn't buy it. I smelled it at Neiman Marcus, but I bought it at Saks. Saks was having this 15% off sale. So I think that's the second time I've said that. If you're looking to buy a luxury fragrance, just wait until Saks have their 15% off sale, sometimes 20, I think, or Neiman Marcus has like a 15% off beauty. You don't have to buy it full price. Still a little pricey, but if you can get a discount, then just wait for the discount. The fragrances will always be there. Um, I've never seen any Baccarat. The oil, the Baccarat body oil has gone out of stock. Um, I don't know when they'll be back. But most of the time, the fragrances are in stock. Whether it's in the store or online, they're in stock. So just wait until they have a sale. Um, so the Tiziana Terenzi Kirky fragrance it really doesn't give much detail oh here we go this fragrance is storming outside so my power has been blinking on and off but i'm giving y'all this video because i want y'all to know about this fragrance okay so this fragrance has the top notes are passion fruit peaches raspberry pears, warm sand. I know that sounds like a lot of fruit and may sound sweet, which it is. It's not sweet like candy sweet. It's sweet like like fruit. Like it smells of fresh fruit. It's really, really, it's really good. Um, the base is sandalwood. Love sandalwood. The base is sandalwood. And then it's vanilla, patchouli, and musk. And I will say this. I do not like vanilla at all. I don't like vanilla fragrances. I don't like vanilla candles. I don't like vanilla ice cream. I don't like anything vanilla. So when you give anything vanilla to me, I am going to turn my nose up because I don't like it at all. But you cannot smell vanilla in this. I would have never guessed vanilla was in this. It is musk. I can smell a little bit of musk, which I'm not crazy about musk either. But I just think everything works together so well. And it's very concentrated in this oil base as well. The only thing I don't like is that the bottle is not see-through. So I can't see how much I have left. I just have to shake it and guess how much I have left. So that's the only downside. They do have some bottles that's more transparent, but this one is not. It is a pretty like black and gold bottle, but I don't know how much I have left. I guarantee you it's less than half because my my favorite is to mix this and Baccarat, to mix Kirky by Tiziana Terenzi 
and mixed baccarat by NFK. Top tier. You cannot spray a lot of each because they are both strong, but maybe one square or ch -ch 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 -ch. done. My favorite. So this is a good combo. And start layering your fragrances to create your signature scent. It's it's just good. It's good. So research the brand to the on the I will put it um down below so you guys can see it. Go smell it in the stores for yourself. It is so good. I cannot stress how much this fragrance is just delightful. So Lalabo, I just learned about them. Um, this fragrance is called Another 13. It has some musk in it, definitely. The cool thing about Lalabo is that um, you can't, well, they pour the fragrance right there in the store and then you can customize your label. So my label says it was compounded in Chicago by Ivy on 4-23-22 and it has my name on it, Jesse Asman. Um, I love how simple the bottle is. Definitely wearing it year round. Um, it has musk in it for sure. I love the Labo. I think the next fragrance I will get from here will be Santal 33, I believe. Um, it's just a good fragrance and they make candles as well. Love Anytime I can get a, a luxury candle to match my fragrance, I'm going to get it because why not? Um, Byredo makes candles as well and I'm pretty sure Baccarat has a candle that is so I guess it's similar to the fragrance, but Lalabo has become one of my favorites over time. I don't wear it often. It's one of those fragrances where I just wake up and I'm like, hmm, I kind of want to wear Lalabo today. I like, I want to feel like it's like a mystery almost. Like I want to feel like a mystery today. So I'm going to wear Lalabo. Um, that's how I feel when I put it on. I feel like I'm wearing a mystery. So it's very good. It's very good. I do love it. Um, it's staying on my shelf as well. All the fragrances that I have shared with you, I am keeping on my shelf because I feel like they are just classic fragrances to me. Um, Baccarat will always be a classic. My Byredo fragrances will always be a classic. And then this one will always be a classic. And I feel like the fragrances that I, that I did share, other than the ones that I specifically stated are, um, fall winter fragrances. I believe they are all year round. You can wear Baccarat all year round. Another 13 is one that I'm definitely gonna wear all year round for the most part. Um, it's just a good fragrance. I don't really have much to say about Lalabo because it's just, to me, it's like classic and it's like, you really, it speaks for itself. Like, I feel like it's just, it's a classic minimal fragrance. I feel like the fragrance smells how it looks. It smells minimal. It feels minimal. Um, like a mystery too, almost. So that's the Labo. And those are my fragrances that I am so happy to share with you guys because luxury fragrances are my thing. Like I told you, ever since I bought that first time Ford in New York, it kind of like broke my luxury fragrance virginity. I've been buying them ever since. I have several more, but they aren't staples. Um, these are more of my staples that I'm going to keep in rotation forever and they last a very long time so I don't have to keep buying fragrances but for whatever reason I do because again I feel like you need different fragrances for different occasions different times of the year that's it just is what it is so I hope you enjoyed this fragrance review don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to new videos coming soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.